Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Evan. Are you tired of buying a poster and it just sitting there static, displaying the same message day after day? You mean like, like posters do? <laughs> Would you want a poster with 64 randomized motivational sayings to inspire you to have a wonderful day? I would like that. Hi guys, we're Evan and Kaylin, and today we're making a wholesome, randomized, motivational post <laughs> poster, which should look something like this, and it should work kind of like this. I wanna do it again. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. Okay, but how exactly are we going to create this magical piece of technology. Well, 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 we're still trying to figure that out too. Yeah, it's been three days of brainstorming. Ordering various supplies. Messing with electronics. So in order to make this work, we need some words to be always on, some words to show up when we clap, and the rest of the words to be hidden. So we're making this with a series of layers. At the back are gonna be LEDs, strips of LEDs going back and forth, and those are gonna shine through layer two, which is gonna have all of our words. At the top, it will say, you are a, then it'll be a series of eight positive, wholesome adjectives, eight positive, wholesome nouns. Some of them we came up with, some of them our patrons came up with. One of the nouns is potato, so <laughs> that one's not really like a compliment, but we thought it was funny. It's funny. And then at the very front, we need to have some way to diffuse the light and to hide the words that aren't active at the moment, the words that aren't lit from behind. And that's the very first thing that we're gonna experiment with. Are we gonna use plastic? Where's other plastic? Are we gonna use some sort of plastic? Are we gonna use thin wood veneer? Or are we gonna use resin? <laughs> so first off, we're gonna do a few test carves of our letters so that we can test these various diffusing materials. And you know, we just have to take this one step at a time. Yeah, I think once we have that down, Exactly. <laughs> Go for it. So we're carving our letters out of MDF, but you'll notice that we're carving some little boxes too. These are gonna go behind our letters because we realized we actually need two layers of diffusion. We'll show you why. We have these cutouts right here of the shortest word, cat. <laughs> now, if we just put this cutout against the LEDs, it doesn't it's not look that, that great. great. Even with diffusion on the front, it looks pretty bad. Because we can't rely on the LEDs to line up perfectly with the letters. So we can make a little box and add a little distance between the letters and the LEDs, and you get something like this. Better. Better. Still not great, depending on where the LEDs line up, shadows, shifts, and it's just not great. Now, if you also add diffusion behind the letters, now you're starting to get somewhere. That evens out all of the LEDs, and when you add it with a diffusion layer in front, you get some pretty good results. So we have our list of potential inside materials, potential outside materials. The inner diffusion is mostly to diffuse the light. The outer diffusion material is for that, but also obscuring the letters that are gonna be unlit. So let's get to prepping all of those and then we can see what our results are. Montage time. Whew. So just a layer on more testing while we're at it. We are also painting our boxes black and white to see how that affects how much the off letters are obscured. We also need to pre-prep one of our inner diffusion materials, which is resin. And we got a fancy syringe to do it. Mad scientist time. It's working. It's working. This is our first time using these, uh, these fancy syringes. Oh, yes. Well, and then I dripped immediately. Wow, that's great. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, we have everything prepared and now it is time to test them all. But first. Uh. <laughs> what? Whatever that noise was picked up. <laughs> <laughs> everything is prepared. Let us show you what we've got going on here. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna run through 
all of these materials as quickly as I can so you have context for what we're doing. So for the inside, polypropylene, mystery plastic, and resin. Now for the polypropylene and mystery plastic, we're gonna try the same outside diffusions, polypropylene with white MDF, polypropylene with black MDF, and wood. The third inside material, the resin, is gonna be a little different. We're only gonna try it with white MDF and polypropylene. We're gonna try it with the wood, and then we are also gonna try doing a full resin pour over the whole thing. Now we can't do that pour with the other materials because there are too many points for leakage, but we're gonna give this a shot. Do you have any thoughts on what you think is gonna do best? Caitlin had a really good idea of painting the face black. Because I think that's gonna make the unlit letters show up the least. And I 100% agree. I think that's super smart. My prediction for the best interior diffusion material is actually gonna be this really thin plastic. Three plastic? Yeah, it, 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 it's, it lets a lot of light through, but it also really breaks it up well, which is just what we're looking for. And I think for the outside, I'm thinking the polypropylene because it looks nice. I don't know. I feel like that is a very practical prediction. Yes. The thing that I would like to work the most. Wood? No. All resin? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> All resin! I want resin on the inside because I really want to do a resin over pour and the, the only way we can do it really is on the one with the resin in the letters. Otherwise, it's just too many potential places for leakage. Yeah, I could leak out of every single letter. Okay, Let's start yeah. with the polypropylene inside on the testing bench. Can you do it one more time? Wait, I'm, I'm, yeah. wait, wait, I'll tell you <laughs> now. On the <laughs> testing bench. All right, first up, wood. I have very large concerns about this because the type of veneer that we got has this adhesive backing on the back. It's kind of thick. And it's kind of thick and it's very opaque. <laughs> no! <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, I made this test bench to be variable brightness. You can barely see it. Oh no. <laughs> so, so, so so this was our original, our very original first idea was that we were gonna use wood veneer. Cause we saw somebody do it online once and it looked really cool. And I think that we're gonna have to knock that this out of the running for every single one. It's like, it's just, it just doesn't let enough through. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, oh, sorry wood. <laughs> A lot of our patrons were very but much excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, next up on the list is the black and the polypropylene on top. That looks good. That looks good. Can you turn the lights off so I can see like, oh, and it's not, it's not really visible. It's not really visible. So that would be good. <laughs> All right, let's try it with white though. That also, also looks nice. good, but wow. Like just as visible. Just you know, we could decide that that's an aesthetic choice if we think it would look cool. Yeah. We could try mocking it up now that we know what it looks like, but. I mean. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one is very visible, one is not. All right, what's up next on the list? Mystery plastic. All right, so I cut out a little sheet of this. What is next? Yeah, what so is next? Well, actually, try the wood, because this is thinner. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it still looks terrible. <laughs> Dang it. Let's try it with the black. Black and polypropylene. Looks great. That looks that looks nice. Now I'll do the white. Polypropylene. Okay, that is nice. It's very comparable to with the polypropylene as the base. Yeah. And now Caitlin's main contender. <sighs> da da da. <laughs> Resin! Oh, it's a, it's a little bit dull. <laughs> I think because it's uneven. This is a uniform piece of plastic. Yeah. This has like a lot of Curves. interesting flow going on in the resin, which leads to cool art. But if you're looking for something even, Dang. I'm not sure if resin's it. Put something on top of it, I'm just curious. <laughs> okay, <laughs> crush my dreams. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do, I'll do polypropylene. Yeah, that, look, that looks bad. Okay, so let's go through the results. Resin, I think we can cross all of it off, sadly. <laughs> Good, I don't know cross all of them off. So that leaves us mystery plastic or polypropylene for the inside and white or black could work. Yeah. 
I think we might want to do a, should we do a mock-up, like a Photoshop mock-up yeah. on the side? If we want the letters to subtly show through as like a feature? Yeah, so we can do, use Photoshop for white or black surface. But I think in terms of the inside, it's a pretty easy test. We want as much light as possible, yeah. as even as possible. So let's just lay these two right here. Yeah, it's gonna be, you know, a little different because they're yeah. different colors. So here is mystery plastic, here's polypropylene. Now let's lay this top on. I'm looking through the screen and I can't tell. Can you tell? In real life, the mystery disperses it better. Here, let me turn on the ISO on here so you guys yeah. can see it too. There seems to be more Hot shadowy yeah. pockets, more less spotty. even. Yeah. It's a little hard to see on camera, but I think the mystery plastic for our underside. Yes, I agree. Okay, so we have our final materials. It's gonna be polypropylene on top. It's gonna to be mystery plastic underneath. Let's take some pictures of it with the white painted MDF and the black painted MDF, and I will Photoshop how it could look like. Yes. Every word will be cat, <laughs> but it should give us an idea. You are a cat, 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 Hi. Food time. Do you approve of our word choice? Yes. I gotta go Photoshop. You wanna come with me? Okay, so we have a couple mock-ups. Oh, Juby has been hard at work. You did all of this all by yourself, Juby? Yes, well, she has to approve the uh, final concept. Okay, okay. Okay, so here it is on white. <laughs> Can you make it bigger? No. <laughs> Here it is you on are white. Cat, 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 cat. So, so you can see the, the background, but your eye still, I think, goes to the cat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and here it is on <laughs> Black. Oh, I think that. I think. I think black. I think it has to be black. I think that will look really cool. Chubby, what do you think? Do you approve? Yes. Do you care? No. <laughs> All right, yay! That's super exciting. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Is she gonna let you up? Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. This is Big Cat Cat Treats. How am I serve your cat treat needs today? Do you have treats? Well, all of our orders are placed online because our website is actually built with Squarespace. We can host an unlimited number of cat treat varieties. Hey, Caitlin, have you seen my phone? Oh no, they are onto me. If you need to call back later, we actually have appointment scheduling because of Squarespace and we can coordinate our calendars. I see Squarespace works on mobile. Yep, and if you're in the need for a website, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase. I am in need of treats. Meow. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day and uh, we have a lot of work to do. We have five different CNC cuts. We got the diffusion, nine minutes, not bad. Letters, two and a half hours. Diffusion box, 1.25 hours. LEDs, 2.25 hours. And then closure in hours, we're looking at about seven to eight hours if everything goes well. And it's uh, 1.30 in the afternoon right now. So wish us luck, because this is one of the longest CNC marathons we have ever embarked upon. So uh, we didn't finish the carbs in one day. We're on day two. And while Evan continues to keep an eye on the CNC. How's it going? Uh, very serious uh, CNC. I am gonna start painting the layers that are complete. Do you want to help? No. Well, hello, excuse me. Yay! 
I was just checking to see if I was sweaty. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys, all of the layers are done. I think more than any other project, this has taken significant brain power. A lot of designing and iteration has gone into something that is gonna end up being pretty simple, yet hopefully gloriously beautiful and fun. Anyways, all of the scene seeing is done. I think let's just do a little quick example of how the electronics works on a small scale before we scale it up to the full size and assemble everything. Now, I'm gonna have to come around. Everyone's gonna see that I'm in PJ pants. <laughs> no, no, they, they can't see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when we put together the final sign, there's gonna be LEDs running back and forth along these channels. And each is gonna have an individual location, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And those are gonna line up with these boxes right here. Now, for the sake of this example, I've went ahead and simplified each of these boxes to a single LED right here, so you can see how this is gonna work. Now, URA will always be lit. And when I trigger an event, like a clap. Work. <laughs> or a touch of the sensor as the backup because the clap sensor isn't the most reliable. It's gonna trigger a little math event inside of its brain where it'll choose a number between one and eight for the adjective and one through eight for the noun. And that is the box or LEDs that will line up. So basically all we have to do is assemble all of the LEDs into here, count which numbers line up with which box, reprogram this little brain right here, and then and then we're just gonna be done. <laughs> it's been a journey, it's been a journey, I'm excited. <laughs> there is something so satisfying about a well thought out plan going to plan. Everything is fitting, I'm ready for the test, but I just have to note and just have a moment of enjoyment and satisfaction for like detailed CNC work and like 3D modeling coming together as planned. Like, oh, Caitlin, look at the underside too. Oh, I haven't seen the underside yet. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. <laughs> the way you loop the wires around. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I know we talked about it, but like, oh my God, I, I like, wasn't done. Uh oh. <laughs> my God, look at that though. Yes, That's it, awesome. It makes me so happy. It's coming together wonderfully. It, it really is. This has been like, I, I know we've said it, but this, it's not been a simple project. <laughs> no. There's been a like, lot of behind the scenes like, like trying to make it work. I feel like we've grown a lot through this project. This is one of those projects that you take it on because it's a challenge and you grow through it. Yes. Speaking of growth, are you ready to test this? Yeah, well, what, which part are we testing? Like if the claps work? Just, just everything. Like, oh, okay. does it light like, up? Does it light up? D does it like, I, I, I programmed <laughs> it, but I, <laughs> you know? Ready? Yes. Okay. So that was <laughs> That's awesome. We might want to rely on the touch sensor. Yeah, let's try this. Yes! Yay! Oh, that's so great. Oh my God. I can't wait for those to be words. We have everything we need right here. We need we need to trim down this. Our, our inner diffusion, our mystery plastic. Yeah. Mystery plastic, we don't know who you are, but thank you. <laughs> but I think that it's just assembly. Yeah. And that's it. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh. We're doing this so nice, close. really, you can't see the letters too well when it's off, that's perfect. So the black paint worked as planned. Hmm. What are you looking for? <laughs> I need to clean up. Those are sharp looking, that brass. Oh. <laughs> Can you run some electrical tape? I had to realign it so that it was precise. The little curves, baby. Look at that. Those little details. Oh, I know like no one's gonna see this except for all of you guys. But like. <laughs> so a lot of people. It's so, it's so smart. <laughs> nice looking. Beautiful. Yes, yes. 
behind the poster complexity. <laughs> <laughs>
That's so Or you creepy. can make it out of bones. I wonder if you could like crush bones and then mix them with like clay. Yeah. To strengthen them. Hmm. <laughs> or if you are, you could, if it's cold enough, you can build an igloo out of frozen blocks of blood. <laughs> Many ways. 